Her car was stolen for 48 hours. And I get a call at like 10 p.m. from the police saying that they found it. Hey, we, I am in Denver, Colorado right now. Made a lot of good friends, you know, had a good high school career, nothing to complain about. You, you still look exactly the same. But it was like the most insane thing in my entire life. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. I'm Jill. This is my husband, my beautiful husband, Michael. He's eating popcorn. If you guys know, Mike is a popcorn fiend. So another day when you sell Jill. It is, Mike. Even though things and the cards might be stacked against you, you can always excel because you can rise above it. Right. Right. So I might have salad on my teeth. No. Okay. Good. <laughs> I'm eating a salad right now that has grilled chicken in it that Mike made me the grilled chicken. I put it on a salad because I'm headed to the airport. I'm flying out tonight. Mike is eating his popcorn and we just went to mass and now my flight is at, it leaves at 6.40. It's six o'clock right now. So I have to be there at 6.10, which is fine. We're 10 minutes from the airport. Um, check in and I'm flying back to Baltimore so I can start my trip tomorrow. The good news is um, my trip is two nights and the second night I get to come back home. Ooh. Yay! So that's really cool. So the first night I'm going to Milwaukee. Very excited about that. Love Milwaukee. Uh -huh. And then the second night I will be back here. And that coincides with Ryan's last official day of school. Doesn't mean he's finished with school work, <laughs> which he's been, by, by the way, very diligently doing. He will be finished with his school work, but not his tests. He'll still have, like, they finish school and then they have tests after that. So he has to go in, like, I think on Wednesday and Thursday or something like that. So um, if you guys watched the last vlog, you will know that we had... The day was not what we expected. It was going to be in between Ryan um, finding out he had all the schoolwork to do and then Katie's car got stolen and it was quite um, an adventure, <laughs> right? Not an ordeal. No, nope, an adventure. The good news is things are coming along. Ryan is getting his schoolwork done, which is really fantastic. And Katie got great news last night. Her car was stolen for 48 hours. So it was from Wednesday night until last night, which was Friday night. And on Friday night, they found it. Apparently, the person who stole it, um, I will let Katie tell you in her own words, but I, they took it for a joyride, ran out of gas on somebody's front lawn, and that person called. And anyway, I'll let her explain to you what she's been through um, since she found the car. So she's with Campbell right now. Did they get the thief? Yeah. They did? Yeah, they got him. And Katie looked it up today on um on the police report and found out, found the person. Wow. Said a little prayer for that person today in church, I don't mind telling you, because that's clearly not the life that that person should be living, <clears throat> or probably wants to live. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm headed to the airport and I will see you guys soon. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. Good morning, everybody. We, I am in Denver, Colorado right now. We landed in Denver. We left Milwaukee this morning and we landed in Denver, deplaned, and we're just waiting to uh, for our crew here, not our crew, for our passengers on Denver to come on board. In just a few minutes, we're going to be um, boarding. But the last I talked to you, Mike was bringing me to the airport and I had asked Katie to film and to tell me a little, to tell you guys a little bit about our car. She hasn't filmed yet and it's been just a couple of days, so hopefully she's going to do that and let you know uh, her perspective about her car. But I can tell you that today, she's getting on the auto train and she's heading up to Maryland. So she's leaving school, leaving college for the summer, which is exciting for her. Um, but of course it makes me nervous, her driving, especially like when I'm flying. So today, for example, I have four legs. So we went from Milwaukee to Denver, then we go to uh, Kansas City, then St. Louis, then Sarasota. So basically I am like, like out of commission, for example, to talk to people um, for about eight or nine hours because we're constantly moving. Now, the only reason I can even talk to you now is because we didn't have very many people on the first flight, so they deplaned very quickly and now we have a little bit of time. Um, normally, if it's a full flight, we'd still be deplaning now and then we have a quick turn till the next one. So I can't really call anybody or text or anything and catch up with my family. So it is a little um, 
disconcerting sometimes when I'm traveling, if I'm traveling all day long and I can't talk to people. So, and not that I need to check in all the time. Yes, thank you. All right, we're ready to board, I gotta go. Not that we need to check in all the time, but with just Katie driving her Jeep four hours by herself and getting on the train by herself. So she's gonna be um, communicating with Mike while she does that. Today's Ryan's last day of school, which is so very exciting. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon, bye. Okay, you guys, so I landed back in Sarasota, so I'm gonna spend the night at home, where the rest of my crew is going to go and spend the night at the hotel. But I'm spending my night at home, and then I'll meet them back and catch up with them for my trip for tomorrow. So I love having overnights at home. It's awesome. Sometimes we stay in the hotel, like Michael come join me, or sometimes I go home. And this time I'm going home because it's Ryan's last day of school, which I think I already told you, and I wanna celebrate with him and find out how he did on all of his classes. I know that he, um, turned everything in, I heard that. So I'm just so proud of him and happy for him for just buckling down, making a list, getting it done. And he's gonna be the most amazing graduate. There's Rye Guy. All right, Mike just brought me home. Congratulations on your last day of school. Thank you. How'd it go? Very good. It was just sad, kind of. Yeah. Walking out for the last time. <gasps> um, but yeah, I mean, Made a lot of good friends, you know, had a good high school career, nothing to complain about, so it was, it was a good time. Oh, heck, you'll go back for exams, but you're right, like, that is, like... I'll never be in, like, high school again. Like, a day of school, like, a regular school day seemed so, like, you took it for granted, kind yeah. of, you saw it's another day of school, but, like, mm -hmm. each one of them was pretty awesome. Yeah. All right. Aww. Uh, it's all over now, which, yeah, it's a little bit bittersweet. I have two exams to go in for, but... To turn all your stuff in? Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. So, that is uh, awesome. Very proud of you. That was a lot of work. Trip. It was very good. Yes, I'm in the middle of it right now. Oh, nice. Are we going to have dinner? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to uh, this hill. you don't like me done. Oh, are they doing the chicken wing eating contest? They are. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. And then you're coming back after that? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I'll see you tonight then. All right. I have to get to bed early though, you guys, because I have to be, I have to report at 5.55, which means I have to be at the airport probably around... 535, 540. So it'll be early. Yeah. So just, I'll see you tonight and then I'll go to bed early. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, this one, like thinking about teachers though, and just, oh. you know. Did you hug them and say goodbye? Like any of them hug? Yeah, Miss K. Yeah. Um, Wait, she's your speech teacher. Oh. Yeah, love Miss K. And just all of them. Yeah. Great, great year. Did you get anybody to sign your yearbook? Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Okay, so you t did you take it around in your backpack and stuff when you were at school? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's graduation. Well, we have a couple of tests, and then it's graduation. Uh -huh. And then all the parties. Yeah, it's going to be a fun summer. Yeah, it is going to be a fun summer. Well, congratulations. I'm so very proud of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I'm going to give you a hug now. All right, you guys, I'm turning the camera off so I can give them up. I'm back in the house now. I just finished my three-day trip, and I'm so excited because Katie is on her way back. Here, she finished her um, trip with the auto train and made it to Virginia and then drove to Maryland. And I'm just here waiting for her. She's about to come in the door any minute now. So when she gets here, she hasn't been here since December. And this is now, what are we in? May, December, January, February, March, April. It's been five months since she's been home. So she's very, very excited to be here. And um, I'm excited to have her here too. I came in her room and made sure to straighten it up and it is all pretty and ready and the lights on. Like we've been expecting her, which we have. And I just heard her come down the hill, yay. There's my baby girl! Ah! Look at that Jeep, it looks so good. Thank goodness. Welcome home! Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, love. You wanna come smell my car? No, no I don't. I don't either. Do you, you should leave the windows down now. I know, once I take all my stuff out, I'm gonna take the roof off and all that. Okay, excellent. I'm so full. Oh, I you smell are? bad, so don't smell me either. Why are you full? Because I went to Molly's and we were on the boat and I ate some You tuna. needed some food. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you because you guys, she slept on the auto train last night and yeah, didn't I shower or anything. So I'm not going to sleep All right. Through. All right. Oh, she's home. She's home. Oh. Are you happy? Oh, that's a habit. We just used to yeah. home from school and just yep. throw out bags. It's all good. I'm she goes straight to her beautiful room. in my room anymore. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, baby. It's kind of the bones. In the morning room. Okay. It's Katie on her first.
first communion. Look how sweet she is. I know. Look at that little face. Here, put your, put your face. You, you still look exactly the same. Oh my gosh, you look exactly the same. It's so awesome. Did you crack my phone? A little bit. <gasps> I might have dropped it. I know. I'm going to the Apple Store. I can't wait to... Oh yeah. Can you get me a case? <clears throat> yeah. I yeah. I'm going to go get AirPods because mine were stolen. Yeah. Before my car was stolen. <laughs> You were stolen out of your car before your car was stolen. Yeah. Excellent. How was Molly? Oh, I got pimpies. Oh, so she was gay. She... <clears throat> well. Let me try again. Okay. She's gay. Excellent. She's home from school? Yeah. Okay. She's... All right, you guys. I'm going to turn this off so Katie and I can chit chat. Oh. What? Oh, you. She's going to tell you what we did. Oh, tell me what you did. I was hanging out and she was like, I'm going to have to take my butt out. So then. I saw your Instagram story. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, so you went out on the boat? Remember when Ryan used to get all upset? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan used to like. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan used to like tell mom things. Like, like a story, try to tell me a story. Really. And then I would like say really fast. <laughs> Katie would give the end. And Ryan would start <laughs> crying and he would so roll back. Like, I was gonna say that! So Katie would always ruin ruin Ryan's stories. Oh, uh, what a cutie little yes. face this is. Oh, I hope we can have all five of us back here this summer sometime. Also, this sink is so short. Like I know, I know it's a little bit short, a little bit shortest sink in the horror, but you didn't know it when you were growing I up. I know because I always, guys, like we've. It's not like I haven't been here in like years. Like right. we were here in December, right? But like, it just feels like home now since I'm gonna be here all summer. Yes. But you guys don't know, but I'm gonna be here all summer. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys as in like mom knows, but not you. Guys. Right. You yeah. She didn't I'm just pop that on you. me now. <laughs> um, don't worry, it'll be in the best hands. Oh, I'm sure. I have plans for this place. <laughs> well, you've got to know I'll be here weekly. I'm going to throw a disco. Oh, that's a good idea. You're going to come home and we're just going to be like mad discoing. Like, <laughs> What's happening? I would love that. It's going to be me. Mad disco. Oh, look at you. You look the same too. Oh, I do not. This is your senior picture. It is. Guys, look at her. <laughs> She's so beautiful. <laughs> look. <laughs> do I look the same? Yes, uh, you do. <laughs> I just didn't have those big old Edna, Ed, Edna, Edna, yes. Edna Mode glasses. Edna Mode glasses. Somebody told me I looked like the guy from Up. Um, <laughs> Wait, that's like such a cute little thing. I know, I don't mind at all. Mr. And I didn't have rinkies. Um, I don't know what his, I don't remember his name. Yes, you do. He's the cute guy though. <laughs> So you probably know at this point that my car's been stolen, but then I got it back. Cause I think mom told you that I got it back, but I think that's why I'm telling you like these details. So pretty much what happened was my car got stolen and I get a call at like 10 PM from the police saying that they found it and they arrested the guy that took it. And so me and Lindsay, who I was with at the time, take her car from our, my apartment to where my car was found and where the guy was arrested. So we get there and I get out of the car, Lindsay's car. And the police officer was like, oh, hey, like, can I see your ID, like, to make sure it's you? And I was like, yeah, whatever, show my ID. And he was like, okay, like, I have to show you some things, like, before we go, take a look at your car. And I was like, okay, awesome. Keep in mind, my car was, like, sitting on, like, on, like, a corner of a random street, like, in someone's kind of side yard. And I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. So he brings us to the back of his car, and he shows me this backpack. He's like, have you seen this backpack? And I was like, no, like, that's not mine. Like, my backpack has flowers on it. This was, like, a black backpack with, like, orange things on it. It was weird. I would never use that backpack. Anyway, so then he's like, okay, well, um, do you by any chance like use drugs? I was like, ah, uh, no, not me. Sorry, not a drug user myself. He's like, yeah, no, you like didn't think so. Like you guys don't, don't look like you do drugs. I was like, no, yeah. And so he's like, well, do you smoke weed? And I was like, I don't smoke weed. That would be a drug. I'm like, no, I don't. And then he was like, okay, well, have you ever used, he's like, I have to ask, have you ever used crystal meth? And I was like, crystal meth, crystal methamphetamine? No, that's gonna be a no for me. And he was like, oh, okay, well, we did find some in your car. And I was like, you're joking me. Like the fact that that was happening in my car drives me insane. So he said, okay, well, let's go to your car. So we go to my car. All my stickers are taken off the back of my car. The spare is gone. Nothing that was in my car to begin with was still there except for my charger and my bow tie. Don't know why there was a bow tie in there, but everything else that was in there is gone. Completely like just gone. My glove box was taken out of the glove box, like compart like the glove box, the whole box was just taken out nothing in there um but they left like my registration and my insurance like in the side door i was like oh, okay like <laughs> thanks like that's awesome um but yeah there was like ash um 
like everywhere in the car. And so it smelled disgusting, it smelled like BO and drugs and just like gross, gross, gross stuff. Um, so then I tried to start my car and it doesn't start because there's no gas in it, like at all. Like it was at a 45 degree, like the empty thing was, it was 45 degrees below empty. And I was like, I didn't even know that was possible. So then we called tow truck, tow truck comes. I spend $20 for one gallon of gas from the tow truck. And then I drive to the gas station and I fill up my gas tank. And it's like habit for me to like reset my odometer every time I get gas because I want to see how many gas, like how many miles I get on one full tank. And so like the day that it got stolen, I had gotten gas and refilled my, and reset my odometer. So it was at zero when it was stolen. And then I get in my car and there's, 467 miles on my odometer. So these people drove 467 miles in my car, which is insane. Um, so yeah, long story short, I got it cleaned kind of. Like I had this guy come in and just like, he did a fine job. It's just like, it wasn't like a detailed detail. So I need to get it detailed now because like, I don't want to breathe in like fentanyl or something. But it was like the most insane thing in my entire life. And the fact that I'm actually here with my car right now is absurd to me. Like, I, like a couple days ago, I literally was like, there's no way I'm going home. Like, I'm just not gonna go home. But here I am in my home with my friends. So yeah, that's the story. Love y'all. Don't get your car stolen. I just got an indication on my um, iPad that I have to be at work by 5.40 tomorrow morning, so I have to go to bed. A butter model. You could be, oh my gosh, you'd be an excellent butter, you'd be the better butter model. Yeah. Nice. Was... So I'm gonna say goodnight, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. What made me happy today? Was Katie, a... every oh. time I wanna talk, you don't. Oh, but you can, but I have to go to bed. Here, I'll give you the phone. No, well, Ugh. not the same. Kate, so, <laughs> what? Yeah, right here, 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 here. Oh yes, I remember that. She doesn't remember where anything is. Okay, well, she grew it's up here. So confusing because we switched it up right before we moved out too. Is that like, right? Yeah, you started where switching things. things. Really? Yes. Oh, that's weird. No, it's true. Okay. That's why I made I it better. What? I made it better. I'm pretty sure salt and pepper always used to go right there. Oh, you know where it was. It was here mm. on the stove. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then we moved it. Yeah. 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 Cause when I we're really not disagree. here and stuff, dad doesn't want ants, but I, I don't, whatever, I guess. Ants don't eat salt and pepper. I know. <laughs> well, if they want their food flavored, they do. <laughs> I'm sure they don't care. What made you happy today, sweet love? Seeing you. Aw, thanks, Katie. And my friends. That's what made me happy today, But mostly too. you. Oh. I cannot wait to spend the summer with Katie Elizabeth. Woo! I'll spend half of it with you up here and half of it with Ryan down there. It'll it's be like, fun. That's so sad. Why? Oh, they, Why is Ryan down, down there? there? Because it's where he lives now. And he wants to get a job down there. Now. I mean, like, that's so stupid. Oh, He's a Maryland boy. He was born here, he was raised here, and he will stay here. Okay. If I have anything to say about it. What made me happy today was Actually, definitely seeing Katie. Comment below, you guys, what made you happy today. And so, stay tuned for more again, ever. You will. Love you. Bye. It's pretty obvious that Kate's home now because there's just stuff everywhere. And you know what? You know what? It's you a good trade-off. You get none of me. Yeah, exactly. I love all of you, babe. Thanks, Mom. Mm-hmm.